Yo, what is up with y'all, man? I hope you're doing good. If you're new and you're a fan of the NBA, subscribe to this NBA channel. So let's get straight into it. So today we're here talking about these NBA trade rumors. So you guys already know what time it is. It's trade rumor season, baby! And a whole bunch of rumors have been flying around recently. Before we get into the real trade rumors that are likely to happen, I want to talk about what rumor broke out last night. So sources say that the Los Angeles Clippers attempted to make a trade for Carl Anthony Towns. And they would offer Blake Griffin. Oh, hell to the law. <laughs> Who were they smoking? Were they smoking that dank? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real though, but besides that, like... Who are you? Where you come from? Oh, uh, but besides that, yeah, um, whoever thought of that trade, you gotta be pretty bold to come up with an idea like that. No way in a million years of hell would the Minnesota Timberwolves give up Carl Anthony Towns. That's their franchise player. And especially for no Blake Griffin, what were you thinking? I ain't gonna lie, Blake's had a good, decent season so far, but he's missed a lot of playing time. He's only played in 25 games a season out of 42, I believe. Whoever thought of that idea in the Clippers front office, you deserve some type of treatment. I think you deserve to get smacked and probably let go of your job. I can't believe the Clippers just tried to pull off a finesse like that. But anyways, about that, if I'm Blake Griffin and I hear about this trade rumor, I'm gonna feel some type of way about that Clippers front off. He literally just signed long term with the Clippers. And they already trying to get rid of him just like that? If I'm Blake Griffin, I'm hurting right now from deep inside. But anyways, that's enough of that. I just had to get my thoughts out. So let's talk about trades that are realistic and that could actually happen. The Chicago Bulls are probably gonna end up trading away Nikola Mirotic since that's what he requested in the first place. And he most likely will get traded to the Utah Jazz for Derek Favors. Now, I really don't know how I feel about this from the Chicago Bulls side because Derek Favors, in my opinion, is a starting power forward. If not a power forward, then he's a starting center in the modern NBA. And the Chicago Bulls really don't need either of those positions. If this did happen, maybe they want to bench Robin Lopez and then bring Derek Favors in to start as their center. If that's the case, good trade. But looking at it from the Utah Jazz side of things, this is a great trade. They add a much needed stretch forward to that starting lineup. And once Rudy Gobert comes back, they can legit make a playoff push. Could they actually make the playoffs this season? I don't know. I think they took too many L's for them to make the playoffs. But... Hey, anything can happen. So this would be a good trade for the Utah Jazz, and I guess a good trade for the Chicago Bulls since they get rid of a contract, because you know, Derek Favors is a free agent after the season. Next trade rumor is with the Los Angeles Clippers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Since the Cavaliers have been on a bad stretch this last week or two, and having majority of their problems on the defensive side, the DeAndre Jordan and Tristan Thompson trade rumors have been boiling up. And in my opinion, the only thing keeping this trade from happening is that broken pick. Now, I've said before in a previous video that I think the Cleveland Cavaliers should end up keeping that pick, because that's the only guaranteed thing that will be a part of their future. You know what I'm saying? For LeBron, it's not guaranteed that he'll be a part of the Cleveland Cavaliers next year. And the same goes for Isaiah Thomas. And to be honest, I don't think DeAndre Jordan's value is equal to that Brooklyn pick. I don't think he does enough on the courts to be traded for a 5 to 10 first round pick. Here's two more trade rumors that have been going around recently as well. First, let's start off with the Detroit Pistons. If you didn't know, the Pistons are looking to unload Stanley Johnson. He's been really disappointing so far this season. And at the offensive end, he's been literally a walking brick. It's gone to the point where he's lost his starting role to Reggie Bullock. And in my opinion, if they decide to trade Stanley Johnson, it would be for a first round pick or maybe first round pick in a second and a solid role player. And literally almost every single team in the league can offer him a deal. And for the last trade rumor, it's on the Memphis Grizzlies and it's not no Marcus Saul, it's actually Tyree Kevin. I spoke about Tyree Kevin in many videos before and I'm just putting it like this, he's having a phenomenal season so far. And if you didn't know already, the Grizzlies have stated that they're willing to trade Tyree Kevin's for a first round pick. So any contending team should be keeping their eye on Tyree Kevin's. Talking teams like the Houston Rockets, the Oklahoma City Thunder, you know, the Cleveland Cavaliers could possibly even trade for him too, even though I kind of believe that the Cleveland Cavaliers don't really need his services because they already have a ball handler in D. Wade. And once D. Rose comes back, that's another ball handler. And then Tyreek Evans, I feel like that'd be too much, but hey, that's just my opinion. But he would be nice on the Cavs. I just believe that he wouldn't fit well with Derrick Rose. But out of all these trades, the only one that I'm pretty sure that's going to happen is the Nicole Mirzich to the Utah Jazz. But this is the end of the video, man. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a like, and uh, I'll get right with you. This, this is a homage beat.